Crafters. Um, this video I'm going to do for CM Butterbell. That's the name was in the comments. Uh, when you ask me questions, would you be so kind? Uh, it's only a question that you put in your first name so I can better state to who I'm talking to. <laughs> it's only a, a request. Uh, you don't have to, of course. Um, but I think it's more nice for me to tell people your name. Um, but the question was if I could do a tutorial or a video about putting this new big bag together. And of course I'm willing, but I'm always struggling with my time. Seller, in the mornings I have the most busiest time. Uh, because sellers ask me questions about the designs I made and how they can best produce them, uh, in what sizes and so on and so on. Then I always read uh, your comments in the morning and um, the problem is that I don't find enough time to do all the things. So that's why I have all those design team members and I'm so thankful for them. They all do a great job and um, if I will not forget, I will put in a list. But um, I'm not sure who's in the teams and who's not because some sellers ask ladies themselves and they don't tell me about it. So if I forget to add you to the list, please excuse me. You know, I'm always being open and honest with my designs. And last time in a video, I asked you guys, what about these um, design paper layers? Well, your comments convinced me to keep them. But they have sometimes, not always, but sometimes an issue. When they are small, it's not an issue. Small like this and small like this. But when they are bigger, and I will show it to you because I think honesty will last the longest time. I took this one off and I die cut it like this. And I will put it here. So this one is the base one. But then you get your design paper layer. And because this is so thin and you can see I can warp it, you have to be careful when you die cut things like this and I will show you what I mean. The first time I didn't tape it down to my paper, I just put it through my machine and then I got this. See how warped it is? So please make sure, and I thought to do a clever job, but trust me I will show it to you. Um, please make sure you tape it on all four sides because the second time I die cut it, I thought, yes, I have a good one, and then I saw this warped edge. What I did, I was uh, I only put a tape on top, on the side, and on here, and I didn't put a tape on here. Why? Because I used a piece of paper that was just wide enough, and I couldn't put a tape on this side. So you see, if you don't tape it, you still get those warped edges. I can work with this for the sake of the video. So what I will do, I will put some tape onto it, just in order for me to show you how to put it together. But please make sure when you have those larger layering pieces that you tape them down before you die cut them then you will be getting a perfectly straight edge because you can see that on my sample on these sides I, I taped them uh, but I didn't tape them on this side and then you see the difference see this is just ugly but because I have the benefit this time that I'm going to put a bag over it you won't see it and we all have things I think that we sometimes have to cover up our mistakes, right? So I'm not going to throw the paper away. What you do, you have also two of, oh, sorry, these dies in the set. One like this and one like this. And this one has the inner layers, as you see here. 
uh, so this one has the inner layers and the smaller one who is attached onto this side has also the inner layers and they look like this so they are in there and you have to take them out <laughs> out <laughs> Then you attach this piece to the back and it doesn't matter if you take the uh, one side or the other, that doesn't matter. And then you have to take this piece and I couldn't uh, make them in one whole cutting die because else they wouldn't fit through a normal standard die cutting machine and you know I always keep a normal die cutting uh, standard size in mind when I design the dies so everyone can buy all the designs I create or come up with or in my messed up mind <laughs> then uh, you can do it like this but I prefer myself to do it like this so I can put this edge uh, on the same piece of metal on the same edge as my score line there or stitched line or however you want to call it and I'm always afraid that I'm in the way with my big head and not on camera so I prefer it to do, do it like this when you have it like this then you take off the backings of the sides so you see it works just the same as the other big tag and this is the second one I made because I think it's lovely to have um, multiple options and then you have to squeeze it a little bit <laughs> see now it, it, it won't cooperate with me oh my goodness I did it <gasps> see that's why I'm leaving my blunders in my video <laughs> I have it upside down. <laughs> oh my goodness, I will see if I can get it off of here. I always like to show people that I'm not perfect too and that I made stupid mistakes too. So I will always leave my bloopers inside my videos. <laughs> oh my goodness. I will do so. <laughs> I can't get over the fact that I did it. <laughs> well, I think it's better that you don't ask me again for a tutorial because I'm not good at them. <laughs> oh, I hope it makes you laugh too. It's still early in the morning. Let me <laughs> take that as an apology of my stupidness. <laughs> Okay, so rewind. You have to put it on like this, so with the corners down. I, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I think it's just lovely to see that nobody is perfect, even me. So please stop telling me that I'm a genius because I've proven you wrong this time. And then you can attach it to the sides <laughs> oh uh, Jenny don't laugh I know Jenny will look at my video and have <laughs> laugh oh, oh 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 I have tears in my eyes of laughing <laughs> oh, but now you don't see the crooked edge uh, that was on the cutting die but please make sure you tape it down and then there's no problem at all. And in the die cut set or in the die cutting set, there are holes and you can choose what hole you want if you want a hole. And if so, you can choose the one you like to have. Because I did a few options and then in big and small so you can use the, those options you don't have to put a hole inside and the little heart is here see the bigger heart is here and the little one is also in there and of course you can use these die cuts to other dies you have and that's why I made them separate and then you can put on 
the words happy birthday or happy mail I know you all like your happy mail and I think that's um, wonderful to have those extra dice uh, you also can only use the word mail it's however you like to decorate your uh, big tag bag envelope <laughs> I will put the link down below to this uh, big tag and um, I'm so sorry for my messed up <laughs> oh I will never forget myself but I think it's just me and okay I'm not perfect either and I wish you all a nice day thank you for watching and uh, see you soon in the next video bye bye <laughs>